Hello, everybody, and today we are going to work on uh, exporting our CAM strategies into CNC motion so that we can pre uh, verify it to see if it's actually going to work and then actually simulate it to see if it's going to work. So the first step I'm going to do is let's make sure the stock setup is set up correctly. So I, there's my uh, strategies I used. I click on double click on setup. What I want to see is that it's a Z offset of zero from the top and that it is centered this way. So double check those. Let's uh, make sure the stock box point when I click here is over here in this corner. Now I can do that by selecting the X and Y axes from the drop down, and then I can click Y axis or X axis, select any axis that will represent it. That would be my Y. So Y axis would be that way. X axis this way, you can see the one I highlighted or over there makes no difference. And you can flip them to make sure that your Z axis is up. That's what we want. So we're looking at the machine. Stop. Set up as fixed box size or size box, 6.5 by 2.5 by 2, with a zero offset from the top of the Z. So we got all that. It's all good. All right. Once our stock is all set up, I'm then going to go to post process up here. And I am going to this, the configuration, configuration folder doesn't matter. But in here, the post configuration, you need to look for PLTW IntelliTech or IntelliTech PLTW. There is another IntelliTech. So if we scroll through, I, IntelliTech, that's not the one we want. We want PLTW IntelliTech. Click that. I'm going to call it Derby Car. Okay. I'm going to hit post. There we go. It's going to ask me where I want to save it to. I will save it to my desktop. Now I have one, I believe, on here called Derby Car. If not, I'm going to put it there. So let's save it to the desktop. Yep, there it is. So I'm just going to save right over it. And now that's it. There you go. So that's Derby Car. This is 23,000 lines of code to mill our little soapbox Derby Car. Uh, doesn't matter. You're not actually doing it. The car is getting milled, so it doesn't matter how many lines of codes are, but it's long. So uh, those strategies I use are a little bit more uh, complicated. But anyway, once we have it, we're going to now open up CNC motion. Your screen might look a little bit different. First thing we need to do is set up our stock to the correct size. So we set up, verify settings, stock, and put in 6.5 by 2.5 by 2. The spacer you can have there or not makes a difference. I'm going to put a one inch spacer there. Um, I'm, I just left the default setting. It's fine. I hit OK. Now, the machine might look a little bit different. I have the coolant loaded, um, but it makes no difference. It's not going to be run anyway. Next step, I'm going to hit Open. And now I'm going to look for that file. There's my Derby car file. I hit Open. Now, it brings it up. If your screen gets a little wonky, go to Window, Run and Edit Screen, and now it sets it up. I'm actually going to drag this over. I want to see my uh, verify a little bit better. Now I have tool two, uh, two and tool six. We need to set these up. So we're going to go to uh, tools, setup library. Everyone's going to be in the same order. So tool zero is a reference tool. Tool one is a point one two five. My tool two and everyone else's will be a. Uh, in my case, it's a ball end mill. So I'm going to put ball mill. And that is tool two, tool number two. There you go. Uh, for teeth, that's fine. We don't need to worry about an offset yet. You can put an offset of about 1.5 inches. This is just to run it on the machine here, but I can give you exact ones, but don't really need it. And I'm going to hit apply. Now I'm going to go to tool uh, six in my case here. That one is also a ball end mill. So tool six, ball mill, that is 0.375 as the program is stating. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to type in tool number six, 0.375. Uh, that height offset on our machine right now is about 2.25 inches in that ballpark. And we hit OK for that. So now let's just double check it. Tools. Set up library. So I have that tool, reference tool one, tool two. Notice the changes there. 
and then also tool six change there. If you have other tools, you may have a uh, different end mills or whatever, you need to figure out what um, Autodesk Inventor exported them as. You can always go back and change them, it's no big deal. So I have what I need, I'm gonna hit okay. At this point, I can verify. Go over to our little verify button right there, verify, derby car, verify program, right? It tells me the tool change, we were pretty accustomed to this now. Function F5, there it is going. And if I want to speed this up, all right, we can watch the verify. All right, so this is as fast as it's going to go for our verify. It is quite a bit of lines of code, but you can see that it's starting to do it pretty good. Let it run for a little bit so you can see it. Couple of things while it's running. You can see down over here where it's absolute and relative coordinates are, where it is in the of the machine. It also shows distance to go. They change really quick as fast as it's uh, going. Here, I can see that I'm on line 17,000, right now 293, and that's where my tool chain is. See, tool, tool, M6. So I can press, option F5. And now it's going to go over with the other end mill and clean up any other little uh, scallops left by the last tool. Almost there. And that's it. That is a verified thing, a verified derby car. From here, I actually can now run it on my machine. Ours is a little bit different. We have a different setup with the way it's held down to the ground, no or to the table. It's no big deal. All right. And now we're going to try to uh, get this to run on the machine. What we'll do, we're going to go tools, select tool. I'm um, actually the reference tools in, so we're good. Select tool. I'm then going to zero it, take this, send tool to the corner, set up, set position, zero, 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 make sure it's typed in, okay, home, quick home. Technically, now it should run. Let's try it. We need to close the shield, notice it changed a little bit, and drawing bar should be good. We'll hit play, run probe from program one, okay, insert the right tool. There we go. Spindle turns on, we can see it. And uh, pending everything's right, it should make a pretty uh, a relatively deeper cut than this first one. And now this is running at real speed. It will not go faster. Uh, so you can be here for a while, approximately about 45 minutes to an hour to run this at this current rate, which is about 19 inches per minute, I believe. If you look over here, we do have a feed override, so we can speed it up a little bit faster. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run in the background, and I'll come back and show it to you finished on here. I'll probably stop in a couple of times just uh, for the tool change, and that's it. But that'll show you right there. Right now, you only see a rolling line about 100 out of 23,000. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this run. and. Uh, that's it. I'm going to keep the video on pause and I'll bring it back when it's all good to go. All right, so you see here it's uh, running a total of four minutes and 30 seconds so far, and it's only done the top layer. This is pretty much how it's going to be in class. I'm actually going to let this go and uh, do a try a little time lapse with this and see how it works. So here we go.
All right, and uh, that was uh, 58 minutes right there just to get that. And now we're gonna do the tool change. Yep, there we go, tool change done. And now it's gonna do the next set. So see you in a little bit again. And there we have it, a completely verified part. Uh, we hit OK and we can look around it and see. Um, my only issue with that part is this fillet right over here is because we use the ball nose uh, to basically go around it. Uh, if I really want to, I can come in back with a contour, finish that up nice clean edge and be all done. But that is how you send the, ver the uh, machining strategy to CNC Motion, hosting it and verifying it and running it on the simulator. That's about it. Have a good day.